Hey all you makers out there, welcome to part four of building the standard frame. So for this part, we are going to attach the frame legs together. So we're gonna need the two by four by tens that we've been using in the previous parts, as well as two by four by eights and two by four by threes, and then some wood screws, a speed square, and a pencil to get it all together. And unless you've really got something to prove, I definitely suggest using a drill or an impact driver to screw everything in. First, we're gonna lay the two by four by eight foot vertical frame legs on the floor and write vertical frame legs on them. And then we're gonna write bottom on the ends of each. So we always measure from that same side. Now, measuring from the bottom, we're gonna go 55 inches up on each one, then 61.75 inches up, then 70 inches up, and finally 76.75 inches up. Once we've made these marks on each one, we're gonna use the speed square to draw a straight line across on these marks. So we can use the speed square on our face of the board across the edge and then draw a line on each one of our measurements. For this next part, we need to find the exact center of a vertical frame leg. So measuring from the edge, so on the short side, we need to measure all the way across and then divide that by two to find the middle and then draw that center mark on each one of our lines that we made with the speed square. Then we're gonna align our speed score with those marks and draw a straight line between them, just like we're doing here. So you have a perfect intersection on these two points of the center of your vertical frame legs and our marks. Repeat that on the other side and we'll be ready for the next step. Now we're gonna put both of those vertical frame legs on the floor with the bottoms on the same side and we're gonna put the bottom beam that we made in the last part across that 55 inch line. Now the stud mount is what's gonna line up with that 55 inch line and that perpendicular center line that we made is gonna go through the center of the bottom and the top holes on our stud mount. So that line is a guide for us to make sure that the stud mount is mounted exactly in the center of our vertical frame legs. Now we're gonna repeat the process with our top beam by placing the top beam on the 70 inch line. So the taller side of our stud mounts on that 70 inch line. And then again, that perpendicular line going straight through those bottom and top holes on each side and then we're going to screw each one of those in right through that center line. So make sure that this is perfect. It's very important that your frame is square. So make sure that you align that uh, perpendicular line directly with the top and bottom mounting holes of your stud mount. Now we're gonna attach the horizontal legs. So grab our two by four by three foot boards and write back on the ends of each one. Then we're gonna align that back end to the inside of our vertical frame legs at a 90 degree angle. So you can see right here, it's gonna be flush with the bottom at a 90 degree angle on the inside. And then once we know that that's there and attached, we're gonna use three long wood screws to attach them in. Now it's very important that this is exactly flush and straight at a 90 degree angle because we want our frame to be square. Once you have your legs and your beams all attached together, then I'll see you in the next step.